Are you ready for a brand new three-part head-to-head -head series? I teased this several weeks ago. I teased this head-to-head -head competition, and it's time for it to happen. We have the defending champion who's beat every competitor this year, the Grail Box. They beat Smy World. They beat Toy USA. They beat Pop King Paul. They beat the Nerdy Newt. And they have not gone up head-to-head -head yet with Ralphie's Funhouse. So the next competitor to challenge the Grail Box, Ralphie's Funhouse, each box was $200. That was what I had to pay for these boxes. Each one was full guaranteed value of $200, if not more. Same price point, same guaranteed value. I'm thinking uh, each one was like between four to six pops per box, but prices price point and my cost were the same so who's going to take the home this series ralphie's or grail box i know there's lots of people who have your favorites out there but these two have not gone head to head will ralphie's be the first person the first company to knock off the grail box are they going to do it you know what since they're kind of like the challenger challenging the champion They'll go first. So Grail Box, I have you sit over here. Wait your turn. Ralphie's Fun House will go first. So in order for me to do these kinds of series, I have to like buy boxes and hold them back and then wait for another company to release boxes at the same price point. So those Grail Boxes, I bought those. There's no date on that box, is there? I think I bought those maybe six weeks ago-ish. And I was waiting around patiently for Ralphie's Funhouse to drop some boxes at the same price point. And they're shipped on October 21st. And I think I got them early November. So I, I teased you for a few weeks. This was coming. Here it is. So it's going to be a three-part series. I got three Grail Box, three Ralphie's Funhouse. You ready? The Challenger. Challenging the champion who's beat every company this year. Grail Box is undefeated. New Challenger, Ralphie's Fun House. Is this double boxed? I think it is. Nice, I like double box. Here we go, next box in the box, Ralphie's Fun House. This size box can only be four pops. This will only hold four. Here we go, you ready? We'll do this box, look up value of these four pops, then we'll go and do the Grail box. See what that has in it. You'll pull back the bubble wrap. There we go. Here we go. You ready? Feel around. There, there is a hard stack in here, so that's a good sign. Other three have no protectors. Here we go. First pop. First pop. Ralphie's Funhouse. First one. We got a Hammerhead Star Wars. That's the blue box. That's the OG. That's the 2014 Hammerhead. That's a nice one. And it actually is very, very minty for an eight-year-old pop. Actually, eight-and-a-half-year-old pop. OG Hammerhead Star Wars Blue Box. People collect those blue boxes. The OG. Here we go. Next one. Once again, no pop protector. If I can get it out. Fax is the Mandalorian. Right now, we've got a Star Wars vibe going on. We have the Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive. That thing is sick looking. Has a pretty good, pretty nice glow on it too, I think. Decent glow. Decent. Very minty once again. So first two pops, both Star Wars. Is this kind of like a, a theme we got going on with this box? Next one. Okay, not Star Wars, but hey, it's still a Disney theme. Disney owns Star Wars and Marvel. We have What If. We've got the Watcher from What If. Once again, very minty. This came out what, early this year, I think it was. There's the Watcher. So first three pops, I'm guessing 25, 50, I have no clue. I'm going to say 50, I don't know, maybe 100 bucks for these first three pops. That could be high. So this pop here is going to be, I'm guessing at least a minimum of like 100 bucks. At least 100, you ready? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. We have the OG Blue Box Clone Trooper. 
Wow, look at that. It came out July of 2012. This is over 10 year old pop. The OG Blue, Blue Box Clone Trooper. I have no clue if this is worth 100 bucks or if it's worth 200 bucks. I honestly have no clue. Haven't had this pop for a long time. See, like the OG price tag, $8.95 on it. Okay, let's see PPG value of these four pops. The Watcher's coming in at $20. Mandalorian Glow in the Dark's coming in at $24. Hammerhead Blue Box, kind of shocking. It's only $18. Wow, did not expect that. In the big hit in this box, we got the OG Blue Box Clone Trooper 2012 coming in at $160. So grand total of this box, we're looking at $222. So I spent $200, got back $222, so $20-ish over what I paid. So in the grand scheme, once I pay selling fees, it's pretty much a break-even box. Break-even box. So first one, $222. So now, will Grailbox come out swinging and take round one? 222. So pretty much all the Grailbox has to do is just meet guaranteed value and go over $23. Over guaranteed. Here we go. Grailbox. I think they usually double box most of them. Lower price point like this, I can't guarantee they're going to double box this one, but they probably did. Here we go, with the champion. That's beat every company out there. Every company but Ralphie's Funhouse. Bubble wrap on top, and this is not double boxed. We have another pop in here. I think we have, okay, so there's two pops on this side of the box that are both bubble wrapped. Okay, so we, there's a hard stack. Okay, so I think there's Three in soft protectors, two no protectors, and one hard stack. This one's at six in it. Like I said these could be like four to six pops per box. Two hundred bucks. It was the same. Man, this thing's stuck in there. I can't get it out. There we go. Oh, this one's in in protector too. I guess. Wow, this thing's got damage on it. Wow. This was not supposed to be a damaged box, but wow, that's that's horrible shape. Oh man, that is horrible. So first pop, pop, we got Bob's Burgers, Burger Suit Genie, window completely separated, huge tear here, please separation. The back is completely sun faded out. I mean, it's completely sun faded. That's severe damage on, on that. I mean, the window's completely, completely separated and tear, wow. Was this supposed to be a damaged box? That's pretty freaking damaged. I mean, that's like, that's like, wow, okay. Okay. Let's stay positive. Here we go. This one is, is no pop protector. Naruto Shapudin. That's the first time I think I've ever gotten like a truly damaged pop out of a grill box that wasn't a damaged box. It's odd. That thing's pretty minty though. No pop number three. These three just feel like they're all in pop protectors, then we have one pop stack. Back says Queen's Gambit. Diamond Collection, Barnes and Noble came out in 2021. The Queen's Gambit. Okay, next one. The back says Power Rangers Black Ranger. Black Ranger 2016. Okay, older pop. Looks to be in pretty nice shape though. That Bob's bird, that thing's really shocking that they put that in there. That thing is completely, I mean, that back, see how it is completely sun faded out the back. S somebody had this in direct sun for a long time. It's completely faded out and window is completely separated from, that's bad. Okay, anyway, I'll quit gabbing about Bob's Burgers pop. Suicide Squad, DC shop exclusive Suicide Squad, a newer pop. You ready for this one? Here's the big hit in the box. It is in a pop stack. Value we're looking at right here, I have no idea. I don't even want to guess. You ready? Here we go, big hit. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this one. I think it's a newer one. Stitch 626, it is metallic. 
3,000 pieces. It's a Fungo.com and Loungefly.com exclusive. Came out in 2022. Came out this year. Actually says September of this year. Okay. That's pretty new pop. I've never seen this one. 3,000 piece stitch. Lots of stitch fans out there. Is this really worth that much? I have no idea. Let's see PPG value of this box. Burger suit jean is completely damaged. Full PPG was 32 bucks. I'm just going to go buy a full PPG, but I already know this is probably only worth maybe about $15. But anyway, $32. Pun number two, Naruto Gara. This one is coming in at $18. Next pop, Beth Harmon, The Final Game. This one's coming in at $19. We got the King Shark. DC Shop Exclusive coming in at $28. Bucks. Pot number five, we got the Black Ranger. This one's coming in at $31. Last pop, and it actually is a pretty decent value pop. Stitch 626, 3,000 piece limited pop coming in at $160. So this box, grand total, $288. So the... Ravi's Funhouse was 222. Grail Box once again comes out swinging at 288. So Grail Box takes round one. Two rounds left. What's going to happen? You think Grail Box just puts crazy value in their boxes? They always have, and they've beat everybody in competition series this year. Nobody's beat them. Two rounds left. Ravi's Funhouse has to win the last two rounds in order to win this series. They've got to win them both. We'll find out next Sunday. See you then.